Hello and welcome. So in this short video, I want to have a quick look at uh, different modes of running of a Power Automate desktop. So uh, as you saw before, there is an attended and unattended scenarios. So let me uh, get back quickly to the flow, right? And when I trigger this flow here, so uh, I have an invalid connection. Let me reconnect. Okay, so now I have reconnected uh, to this action. And uh, you see here the run mode for the flow, it says attended. So it, it means runs when you are signed in. The thing to remember here, if you have on-premises gateway configured with a user that is not currently signed into the session to this machine, then it will fail. You know? um, so it has to be the same user that is specified in the connection, right? Or in on-premises gateway. So when I try to run this flow here, right, I get two options, attended and unattended. Uh, this one happens only when you are signed in, and this one happens, you know, when I'm not signed in. And it also relates to the fact that uh, I'm not allowed to be signed in to this workstation. So if my user is signed in, logged into the workstation, this mode will not be available. So uh, it, it will fail, the flow will fail. If we look here, this is just a standard Microsoft document for attended and unattended scenarios. You see there are some differences. One is that it requires interactions and, and decisions. It's triggered manually normally and uh, sign-in is not required. Well, you, you have to be signed in, so you, you, the system assumes you are already signed in to, to the system. And, uh, and if you are not signed in, it will fail. So that's, that's the thing. And for an attended scenario, it means that you do not have to do any interaction, right? And uh, the flow is triggered automatically. And then the Windows sign in is automated. So if you provide the specific credentials, your user that you're using has to have a, a remote desktop access to the machine. So this user has to be added to a specific group, which allows you to remote desktop into your machine. Yeah, so that, that's basically the main things. When we looked at the licensing for attended and unattended. So if you want to use uh, attended, meaning when the user is signed in interaction, then you would need this license per user plan with attended RPA. If, on the other hand, you want to run unattended um, flows, then you have to purchase an additional license, which is called an attended RPA add-on. Let me show you here in the admin center. You see, for example, this license is required if you uh, run flows in unattended mode. So basically it's like you have to purchase two licenses, which, um, you know, one is to use RPA in attended mode and one add-on which allows you to use it in unattended mode. So take it into consideration, you know, when, when you buy the service, uh, make sure you have the proper licensing um, I know it's sometimes quite confusing here and also thing to remember, you know, when you purchase this unattended RPA uh, add-on in order to add it to your environment, it's basically like one add-on per environment, you would need to go to your Power Platform Admin Center and then click on Resources, Capacity and then Add-ons and then there is an option called Assign to Environment. You see here, I have this Power Automate Unattended RPA. This one I would set to one if I have one user who's running it. So uh, that allows me to use 
low and unattended mode and um, yeah that's that's pretty much it right um, here I'll, I'll just show you how it will run in attended mode right I, now I have the proper licenses configured for each user and um, let me show you what it does I'm signed in with this user so I run this flow in attended mode it prompts me you know it checks the connections here then I continue I do the test and I observe the process see how the flow is running right if it runs or not it takes a moment no it's not immediate but you see here I have this notification this is the message from my desktop flow so the flow ran successfully it takes another minute for the flow to update the status so it still shows test is running and in a moment it will show the test was successful so just to sum up one more time when you use your power automate desktop flows you have two options it's basically run mode attended or unattended if you use it in attended run mode you have to get a specific license this license is right here on this page it's per user plan with attended RPA although if you want to run your flow with unattended mode so fully automated then beside this license you also have to purchase an additional add-on which is called uh, where is it it's called power automate unattended RPA add-on I have it in trial but uh, it costs like hundred something US dollars per month and um, you would uh, need this option so I hope it's been helpful to you uh, have a great day and bye bye